I don't have a much bent knot as I thought I did. Here's the plan. Got a can. stick welder, 80 volts, flat out amps, and I've got some argon to go in here, this will help hold the argon in a little I hope. I've got some uh, thoriated tungsten TIG electrodes, which will sharpen to a fine point, it's not yet sharp. And we'll see if the old stick welder will maintain an arc enough to vitrify the bentonite. Okay, nice pointy electrode. This will be the plan. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Let's get some bentonite. Let's get some argon. Let's see if we can't infuse argon into the powder and uh, Hmm. <coughs> oh God. That is really <laughs> quite bloody unpleasant. Oh. Uh, gonna get it a little bit argon enriched this way I hope Plug in the power. Let's see what happens. Ooh. Okay. You know what? That's not working. Bloody plastic, plastic lining in the tin. Brilliant. Okay, first failure. Lots of holes. Instantaneously blown by the current. Let's see what else I can do. This time, I don't know if you can see it, I've gone for a more rounded end. Might spread the current a little, be less prone to blowing holes. Okay. Second attempt. Big holes, hmm. no melting, no maintenance of an arc. Last can. I've turned the amperage right down. I've got the voltage at 80, because this old welder has a choice between a setting of 50 volts and 80 volts. 
but I've turned the amperage right down in the hope of blowing less big holes. Let's see what happens. And now I have to suck the bottle. Oh. Put more argon in shit. Well, if we're going to vitrify anything, it's going to be on the end of the electrode, isn't it? Right, let's just try it. getting covered in bentonite now as uh, you see. <sighs> hmm, I might try putting a thick plate in the bottom of the tin and see if I can get it to strike and maintain an arc against something a bit thicker. Let's see how we go. Okay, just hacksawed a piece of aluminium plate. That being about the only thing I can find that is suitably thick. And uh, let's hope I don't set it on fire. Should be okay with the argon atmosphere. I'm gonna... Yeehaw! Good oak. Sort of good oak. Oh, here comes a bit that sucks again. I'm going to do this off camera. Let's see how I go with it. Oh, nothing. Not a sausage. Promising. Don't like striking the aluminium, does it? Humph. Alright, blows a hole in the side, no bloody way at all. Ah, okay. Bugger. The glued the handle back together with super glue. I've decided to try with a sharp point again instead of with a rounded end and I'm going for a, a cupper and a ciggy while that sits there.
sure I did not think of that before. Okay, that's really quite warm. No sign at all of it melting through that plate that I put in the bottom. Large, interesting cavity. Let's just show you. You see there, I think that some of the bentonite has sort of collapsed in at the bottom. And hopefully, when that's cold enough to touch, we might find something interesting, even if I didn't manage to get it to burn through in the method you were describing. But I think it's obvious that you need a higher frequency AC, because I'm just not able to sustain an arc, not even with argon in it, not even with an electrode of tungsten thorium. And... Um, yeah. Okay, it's been hours and it's still warm. Let's see what we got. <coughs> if indeed anything. something. Hang on. Hooray, hooray. It's looking very slaggy and uh, it's a bit of a fail. It has vitrified. Let's just have a look. So I did manage to vitrify some bentonite. I don't know why it's black. I can't see where any, where any carbon would have come from. It does, under white light, have the green tinge that you mentioned. Okay, it'll scratch high carbon steel in the annealed state. Um, so I don't know if you can see that this is actually scratched and that would be more accurate to call that bit polished it doesn't really show very well on the camera it looks scratched but in fact it's done more than, no more than rub the rust off it has not scratched the hardened steel um, Oh, it sounds like it's stretching the glass. It has very faintly scratched. Very faintly scratched the glass. I don't think it's effectively able to be achieved with 80 volts, 50 hertz. It was very hard to strike an arc. Once I did manage to get an arc, I had this rather thick material, so 
I didn't burn through and get the flow out the bottom like you mentioned. 